Well, now with the latest on Thursday's weather, here's Rakal. Thanks, Helen, and a very good evening. Well, we had a bit of rain across most districts last night. A lot of it did fall up in the northeast with recordings of more than 20 millimetres there. Here in town, just a shower or two in the past 24 hours. So I've come down to beautiful Hawthorne to get in front of this warm fire with the ladies here. They're actually taking part in the Guardian Angel Knitting for Children in Need program. Now, it is in its 13th year. All these winter woolies that we're creating here are going towards some underprivileged children who are doing it tough over the next few Few months. So if you're interested in taking part, why not jump onto the website below? It's a fantastic program and a really good cause. Well, the Bureau says we're in for a few showers tomorrow, but it should fine up for the weekend. I'll be back with more a little later on. Mal. Knit one, pearl one. Knitting groups are a huge trend and all the hip young things are into it. But for many people, it never went out of fashion. You've only got to go to Spotlight and see all the patterns that you can get in all the wool. And Circle stylist Kate Hopkins recently met some very experienced knitters. Knitting groups are a huge trend at the moment and they're growing bigger and bigger all around the world. But knitting never really went out of fashion. The ladies in this group have plenty of experience between them and they've been meeting up every month for the last 13 years. Now Val, how long have you been knitting for? Oh, about 70 years. And 70 years, and what was the very first thing that you remember knitting? Knitting socks for soldiers during the war. Wow. Sending them off overseas. The group loves to knit for others and for the next month they're knitting lots of pieces for the Guardian Angel Knitting Program. Can you tell us a little bit about the Guardian Angel Program, what it is? Oh, I think it's a wonderful program that's been um, put together by Guardian Pharmacies and it encourages everyone to knit just wonderful pieces that they hand into the uh, pharmacy who then gives them on to Variety, which is um, a fabulous children's charity and um, they give, give these beautiful pieces out to um, needy children. Oh, last year the, the women had knitted over 100,000 pieces for wow. the charity, which is incredible. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of hours, a lot of work, a lot of wool, yeah. a lot of a lot of knitting. <laughs> a lot of knitting. Yeah. I just love the company and I love doing it for charity. I love the thought that someone out there needs it and they're going to get it. Olivier is here from France and although he can't speak a lot of English, he can confirm that knitting is a huge trend overseas, whether you're old or young or a man or a woman. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, is that right? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. 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 That's right. We, that's right. That's right. Yeah. If, like me, you've never learned to knit, but have always wanted to give it a go, there's plenty of help at hand if you join a knitting group. Out through the window. Out through the window. Off, and off jumps, jumps Jack. Jack. Nice. Knitting. I think I'm hooked. And some of those um, knitted um, garments are going to the people in New Zealand after the earthquakes. So thanks, Kate, for that.